Hello everyone, welcome to today's Python lesson where today I'm going to show you guys the map function. So for starters, the map function in Python is a function that works as an iterator to return a result after applying a function to every item in an iterable. This can be considered a tuple, list, and etc. So let's go right into the tutorial on how I plan on utilizing the map function. So for starters, I'm going to create a list called numbers and the list will have several elements and I'm going to have just integers from 1 to 5 and then I'm going to have a variable called new list and it's just going to be the square brackets and that's going to be blank and you'll see why um, here shortly so next I'm going to create a for loop so the for loop is kind of like one way that you may have utilized um, performing these actions before being exposed to the map function just to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to go through each number in the numbers list. I'm going to create a variable called new num and that's going to be equal to the number squared. And this new num is going to be appended or added to the new list. So that's why we have an empty list right here called new list. And when we print out the numbers list we'll get 1 through 5 and then if we print out the new list we'll get the new list that we've been appending, which is going to be numbers, each element in numbers list squared. So it would be one times one, and the first element would be one still. Two times two would be four, so we get one, four, nine, 16, and 25 when we run this list. Now, see how many lines we're utilizing for this for loop just to have this function or for loop be performed? There is an easier way to utilize this in a more proper structure, and this is where the map function comes into play. So the map function takes two parameters, the first being a function itself, and then the second being the iterator or iterable that you plan on running th or processing through. So for starters, I'm going to create the function, and I'm just going to call it num, and it's really going to return num squared. And this is basically going to be our elements that goes through each time and multiplies that by itself. And then next I can just create simply a new variable and let's call this um, new num. And that's going to be equal to a few things here. So we're going to first call it a list because we want it to be in the form of a list. And then we're going to call the map function. And the map function, like I mentioned, takes two parameters the first being the function that we want to utilize which is the function we just defined func and then the second being the list we want to iterate over and this will be for this instance numbers so that is honestly all you have to do in order to utilize the map function so when i print out new num you'll see it's going to be identical to the 149625 list and saving space wise it it's not a crazy amount. You may use one or two less lines, but honestly, it's way better to just when you walk through the entire function in Python program. It's so just a better structure overall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video introducing you guys to the map function in Python. I encourage you guys to go check out other videos and even subscribe if you are more interested in future Python programming lessons. Hope to see you guys there. See ya.